I'm very excited to have a full house this afternoon. Uh, head of the Dire Straits Experience, Mr. Chris White, Mr. Terence Raish, and Mr. Chris Whitten. Good afternoon, gentlemen. Hello. Good afternoon. Resounding hello. Um, something very exciting for Dire Straits fans, Dire Straits Experience happening tomorrow. Uh, a six album discography fans have plenty to look forward to. Uh, what is, uh, what can people expect? What are you, what's up, what's the ace in the hole? The ace in the hole is Terence Rage, <laughs> actually. But what people can expect tomorrow night is uh, is all the things they know and love about Dire Straits. There are lots of songs that have to be part of a Dire Straits concert, so things like Telegraph Road and Private Investigations, Romeo and Juliet, but also some slightly less usual things will be there. Because well, there's plenty to play from. There's plenty. There's it's a, a big catalogue. There's a lot. And you mentioned that uh, Terence Raish is kind of like the, the jewel, the... Uh, and discovered gem, the discovered gem. Uh, we're going to claim you because that's what we do in Southern all Africa. Product of a wasted childhood. I think. <laughs> well, all good rock stars come from some kind of story. Mm-hmm. Um, but tell me about how the Dire Straits experience has been for you. How uh, the journey has been for you, being of the soil. Well, thank you. Yeah, of the soil, definitely. It's been strange because it's. We'd like to think it's been a big and clever plan, but it hasn't. It was something that really gathered momentum, not from our initiative, but by the fact that there were was a fan base that clearly wanted to see this to grow and continue. And Absolutely. I know we say it, I don't, hope it doesn't sound twee, but it is in a sense almost fan-funded in so much as we can't play unless a promoter comes to us and says, I think there's enough people that want to see that. The show, I want to see that on stage, we want to see it live. So it's been a journey of one surprise after another, really, yeah. And on the topic of surprises, um, sometimes you think to yourself, oh, I never thought I'd play in North Korea or wherever the place might be. Mm-hmm. Perhaps you never saw yourselves playing in South Africa. What's your favorite place to have gigged um, and why? Mr. Whitten, do you have mm. a special place in your... Well, it was special the other day, wasn't it? Because yeah. we played in Mozambique, which is where Terence was born. Very cool. And, um, yeah, we were just amazed that we never thought when Chris and I was doing Dire Straits originally, we never thought that people would be listening to it in Mozambique, oh. far away land. And when we started playing the show, people were singing along, knew all the lyrics Ooh. and there were 4,000 people there. So that was quite amazing. Actually. I never, I've literally said to these guys, I never dreamt I would ever play a no. show in Mozambique. There's a really no um, way, really humbling experience. Yeah. Actually, we, we, we stopped singing at one point and they carried on. Yes. Because we know all the we know yeah, all the clearly. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Yeah, clearly. Yeah. Um, and while we love our old school and R and B here on Hot ninety one nine, that's our that's uh-huh. stock standard standard operating procedure. We're always looking forward to something new. So, is there any new music on the cards, even if it's in the form of solo projects? I know that um, it's in the I know that the Dire Straits experience is a, an amalgamation of the the music itself. But I know that in your own rights, uh, you could possibly have something new. Tell me everything. Well, <laughs> I mean, I can only speak for myself. I think everyone has got a back catalogue of stuff sitting in drawers and stuff. Totally. And, uh, the, the dream is to be able to do this and do private projects as well. And I would work with these two in a heartbeat on something else if it came to it. But yeah, speaking for myself, there's piles of songs that I hope to get round to. I, I might have to be somebody sitting down in a chair looking a bit long in the tooth when I do it, but um, there is stuff, yeah. Well, don't wait that long. Yeah, <laughs> hopefully not. Mm. Yeah, I mean, the amazing thing is... Yes, there are other things that we all want to do, but this thing has just grown beyond all yeah. possible uh, expectation. And uh, it's it's turned into a real full-time thing for, for us now. So uh, yeah. it is hard to fit other stuff in. Can Fair I enough. say I am fitting other stuff in? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't I've want to tell you. <laughs> Chris Whitten I've is got not a solo old. project called Circles and Ellipses, which is more electronic music, just away, completely away from guitars and drums. And So that's how I have my recreation to get away from this guitar and drum sound. But he cheats because he's not with us all the time. No, you have to uh, use another drummer. Yeah, from yeah. You see, this is why you don't talk about yeah. these things, because now you're talking about replacing him. <laughs> no, 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 he's irreplaceable. 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 Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you very much. I thought I'd move on to that fun little section now. Um, oh, now that dear. we know exactly what we're looking forward to uh, for Dice Race Experience tomorrow night at San Arena Square in Pretoria. Um, I'm going to go left to right because it's easier that way. Um, yes, my left. <laughs> <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> what time do you think the first alarm clock invented went off? <laughs> Five. 45 a.m. 
5.45 a.m. It's kind of a Douglas Adams question, that one. The bending space and time. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> and then moving on to you, Terence. Yeah. What's your worst Friday the 13th story? The next one. The next Ooh, one. Oh, yeah. Good man. That is pretty good. Short and sharp. And then, um, Chris, what, what would stop the chicken from crossing the road? A in barbecue. The, <laughs> in the middle of the road. Oh, yeah. Just set up a braai in the yeah. middle of the road. Yeah. Oh, it would be already on the barbecue before it got to the crossing. <laughs> Absolutely. Do I'm a vegetarian, I should say, at this point. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we have a vegetarian, a vegan, and a carnivore. Yeah. Ah, with a very dark We've sense of humour. Mi- yes. yes. Oh, very dark. If he's dark. talking you about no putting it on a barbecue. I oh, know, it's yeah. terrible, isn't it? Can I take that back? You should know better. <laughs> Thank you very much, gentlemen. We're Thank so looking forward much. to seeing you uh, live in concert for the Dire Straits Experience tomorrow. Have a lovely afternoon. Thank, Thank you, you very, very much. much. Thank you very much. Thanks. Thank you. Hot 91.9. Playing the best old school and R&B.